Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. This video is going to be focused on Facebook advertising and what you need to do in order to improve your ads. My name is Michael Tabrali, I'm a business and leadership consultant that helps you position yourself with a system for success. Now when thinking about your Facebook ads, I, in this video I'm not necessarily going to be going through the step by step of what you need to do in order to set up an ad, but what I am going to be talking about is practices and things you need to check in order to make sure you're much more confident so you can improve the quality of your ads. Now the first thing I'd say to you is that you need to make sure you understand what it is that you want to offer towards your audience, okay? Because if you, if you can understand this um, and you know this in detail, then you're more likely to be better positioned to get the leads or the sales that you need to get. The best way to do this is to see what the market is doing already and understanding what they're offering towards their audience so you can get a better understanding of where to start. But I would also say if you've got a list or uh, a group of people within your niche or maybe even checking out Quora.com or some sort of question and answer site, you can see what it is that they're complaining about, what their core problems are. You can check all of these different things because once you can check these things, then you can create stuff that will allow you to solve those, those different things. It could be a video series, it could be one long video, it could be a report, it could be a webinar, it could be all this different stuff. One thing I will say, um, I was doing sort of like downloadable PDFs before. I really didn't get much traction. I think videos really work really, really well. Um, I'm not going to say you have to do a webinar, I'm not going to say you have to do X, Y and Z, but I would recommend doing some sort of video format, whether it is a webinar or whether it is some sort of video or video series. So think about all of this kind of stuff. Um, but again, do what you're comfortable with. In terms of shooting these videos, you can use things like uh, Camtasia to record your screen or to record yourself. You can use a 400k camera. Uh, using a smartphone, an iPhone or an Android like I'm doing right now. Um, you can also use Facebook Live as well as a way to capture live audience. Sorry, I'm in Accra, Ghana right now, so you can hear a lot of noise. <laughs> Apologies for that. If it gets too noisy, I will move. So the point being made is um, start creating an offer that is useful towards your audience, okay? Then I would say the next thing is to understand what your aims and objectives are. Are you trying to get leads? Are you trying to make sales? Um, what's more important to you? If you're trying to get sales, then I guess what I'm trying to say is, are you going for the direct sell on Facebook? Remember, Facebook is a social platform, um, so it's less likely to work. But saying that, you know, it has been working more and more and more because I think people are getting used, used to and acclimatized to selling uh, or seeing the selling on, on, on Facebook. So I wouldn't disregard it at all. I'll test it out, see if it works. I think it comes down to how you write your copy. I think at the same time, if you want leads, maybe you want to develop that relationship first because you're building more of a brand. And I think it's, in some respects, I think it's better to, the, to, to actually get leads first. Uh, may not necessarily seem cost effective at the beginning, but the reason why you'd get leads first is because you want to nurture them. You want them to really see what value you do provide for free because you shouldn't be afraid to handing out value. You should be confident enough that you could secure some sort of customer in the long run if you have a service that you can provide or a really strong product you can provide later on. So I don't worry about providing things for free. I guess the, the thing after that is really understanding how you can measure results, okay? So what are you using to measure results? I guess the basic thing is to understand how measurement happens in the first place. So do you have your pixels installed on the right sort of landing pages or thank you pages or on other stuff in order to know or look at the activity because if you don't have any sort of uh, pixel installed uh, and this is one pixel for one sort of niche across all your different websites it's going to be very very hard and difficult to understand the activity understanding things like you know um, CTR so click-through rate or understanding cost per lead or understanding those who have actually come to your, your website, all of these different things, because you need to understand this stuff so you can see what you can get rid of or what you need to, to keep, okay? Um, are there any sort of written rules? I can't say, I really can't say that. Um, but what I did do is I did research around, I did listen to certain gurus and stuff, and I did see what sort of cost per lead they had. Um, so I can get an understanding and then I use the average from all those different numbers for my niche because every niche is different 
to understand what sort of cosplay lead I'm looking for. So maybe if you're in a business niche, and this is not the factor, by the way, uh, a cosplay lead under six pounds is good, or under four pounds is good, or whatever it is. Um, but again, please don't use this as gospel because it's not gospel at all. You need to do your own research, but I think even if you don't have the research, you just need to test and you need to throw out an ad out there and basically check the relevance score. So if you know your relevance score is a level five, um, then you know that your cost belief could potentially be better because your, your relevance score is telling you um, how attractive your ad is. Does your copy read well? Does your picture or video read well? So I typically get a relevance score between eight and 10. I usually get around line if I'm honest with you. Um, but if it's not any of those things, then you know that you haven't really optimized your, uh, your cost per lead very well. Um, but saying that, you need to look at the, the results, you need to analyze your ads and get a better understanding of what it is you need to do. So understand that first, you need to test first to see what works. But before you do any of that stuff, and I've, I think I've spoke about this in a different video when I was talking about landing pages, is that you should check out to see how people are doing their ads. Um, are, do, are they doing long copy? Are they doing short copy? Are they doing uh, uh, medium or middle copy? Um, how are they structuring their ads? How are they talking towards their audience? Um, and all of this kind of stuff. Now, rather than just copying them, because I would never recommend copying them, modeling is a different word I would use, as a word I would use, I would read Facebook's ads policy. And I can't stress this enough because you could model another person or thought leader or whatever it is, but if you're not complying by Facebook's ad policy, then your ad will get shut down or it just won't be approved or whatever it is, okay? So read their policies. Are you using personal attributes that is really discriminating them and making them or putting them within a box that is your audience? Are you sort of using abusive language or are you being suggestive or are you um, sort of displaying yourself as an organization or company that you shouldn't be displaying yourself as? Like, what are, your, uh, what are you doing? So read Facebook's ad policies, it's very, very important. If you need training as well, I'll check out Facebook Blueprint. It's a free way of you know, doing some basic training. It is basic, it won't give you all the sort of strategies you need, but it's very, very important. One thing that's helped me amongst all of the different courses and people I've got coached by and stuff, I think amongst all of that, it's just reading what Facebook has to say. Um, so Facebook have ad support, and they have all these different documents explaining the different metrics and you know what pixels are and all this kind of stuff and even though you know i'm aware of these things i just like to read this stuff continuously just to see if there's anything i've missed um so i would read avidly these different uh, links to understand what it is you're aiming to do and what you need to do in order to comply okay so understanding like you know before you get a conversion you need to make sure you have 500 uh, pixel events on one of your pages before you can start doing any sort of conversions and you know you need at least 50 sort of conversions for the conversions to be viable x y and basically read their policies okay or read their ad support documentation because it will stand you out from many of the people who are just copying other people or modeling other people just be just just follow the rules follow the guidance but have fun with it as well and test stuff and i guess i guess those are the main things you need to understand um that's my dog barking it's not really my dog it's the family dog but anyway if there's anything else um feel free to leave a comment below and um yeah i can i can i can definitely help you out with that stuff but don't forget to check out all of those things those are the main important things that you need to remember for your facebook ads it's very very important i'd also say if you're checking out different sort of like facebook ad um uh ads f uh if you're checking out different facebook ads from people within your industry and stuff um just see whether they're using video just see whether they're using pictures just see what sort of copy they're using as well and get within the rhythm of that i hope this has been useful uh, check out that stuff measure your stuff make sure you understand what your cost per lead looks like uh, eventually after time and just kill it man just 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 stick with it uh, don't be afraid to test i know you have to spend money um but that's just the nature of things okay anyway take care god bless understand reach and expand and don't forget to subscribe peace